So children, we meet again in part 5 of squares and square root. And in this part, we will continue with exercise 6.1, question number 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. It's a very interesting exercise and I hope you all will enjoy this exercise as much as I enjoyed it. So let's begin with exercise 6.1. The question 2 is, the following numbers are obviously not a perfect square. Give reason. These numbers which are given to you, they are not a perfect square. So you give reason. Now Hinal, Hinal read this question and now she's thinking, why are these numbers not a perfect square? What reason I can give? So then she comes up with one thought. See, she's thinking that why it is not a perfect square? Why are these squares? I mean, looking at it, how can we say that it is not a perfect square? So she's thinking. And then suddenly she remembers one property which she studied in part one of our this chapter, squares and square root. So the first property which she had studied about the perfect square was that which numbers are not a perfect square and which are the perfect square. So she remembered that property. So, the numbers whose unit digit is 2, 3, 7 or 8 is not a perfect square. So, the number whose unit digit is 2 or 3 or 7 or 8, either of any one, then it is not a perfect square and it should be the number, huh? not numbers, but the number. And those numbers which ends with odd number of zeros, is also not a perfect square. So the numbers, I mean, if the number of zeros are odd, that means if the number is ending with one zero or three zeros or five zeros or seven zeros, then also that number is not a perfect square. Once again, I repeat, number who ends with, the number which ends with, 2, 3, 7 and 8, then those numbers are not perfect squares. And also the numbers which has odd number of zeros, which are ending with odd number of zeros, in the end they have only one zero. If in the end they have three zeros, if they have five zeros or seven zeros, odd number of zeros, then they are not a perfect square. So let's begin with the first one. 1057. Now 1057, here the unit digit is 7. Therefore 1057 is not a perfect square. Always be systematic children. So follow the same statement everywhere. Now here 23453 is not a perfect square. Why? Because the unit digit is 3. So here the unit digit is 3. Therefore, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 is not a perfect square. The next one is 7, 9, 2, 8. 7, 9, 2, 8. Here the unit digit is 8. Therefore, 7, 9, 2, 8 is not a perfect square. Similarly, in 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 the unit digit is 2. So, this number is not a perfect square. Now, 6, 4, triple 0. Now, here the unit digit is not 2, nor 3, nor 7, nor 8. But it is ending with 0. So, let's count the number of zeros. 1, 2 and 3. There are odd number of zeros. So, here the number of 0 is odd. That means 3 and 3 is odd. So, it is not a perfect square. Same way, here the unit digit is 2, so 8, 9, 7, double 2 is not a perfect square. Now, here, again count the number of zeros, 1, 2, 3. The number is odd. So, here the number of 0 is odd, therefore it is not a perfect square. Similarly, here also there is 1, 0. So, here the number of 0 is odd. Therefore, 505050 is not a perfect square. Now, let's see who is going to answer the third question. 
Oh, Jainam. Jainam is going to answer the third question. Now the question for Jainam is, the squares of which of the following would be odd numbers? Square of which of these following would be odd numbers? Now odd numbers, Jainam is thinking. First of all, he is thinking what are odd numbers? Numbers which end with or numbers whose unit digit is 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Such numbers are called odd numbers. And you are asked which of these numbers if I square 4, 3, 1. Will the answer, will the square of 4, 3, 1 be an odd number? That means will 40, 4, 3, 1 into 4, 3, 1 will be an odd number? 2, 8, 2, 6 into 2, 8, 2, 6. Will it be an odd number? Triple seven nine into triple seven nine. Will it be an odd number? And 8, 2, 0, 4 into 8, 2, 0, 4. Will it be an odd number? That is what you are asked. Now, instead of multiplying and then finding out, it will take such a lot of time. So, Jainam is thinking of one property. What is that property? Let's see, which you have to remember. You have to remember that square of odd natural numbers will be odd. And square of even natural numbers will be even. So, if it is an odd number, you multiply it, it with an odd number, the answer will be an odd number only. That means square of an odd number will be an odd number and square of an even number will be an even number. So Jainam is going to answer 4, 3, 1. What will it be? 4, 3, 1 is an odd number? Yes, because its unit digit is 1. And therefore, square of 4, 3, 1 will be an odd number. So here what you will write? 4, 3, 1 is an odd number. So, its square will be an odd number. This is the pattern you will follow everywhere. See, all these things you learn. When you follow a pattern, it becomes easy to remember and less chances of making mistakes. So, here, 2, 8, 2, 6. So, Jainam, what is it? An odd number or an even number? So here the number ends with 6. 6 is an even number. So this number is an even number. So its square will also be an even number. So 2, 8, 2, 6 is an even number. So its square will be an even number. The third number 7, 7, 7, triple 7, 9. The unit digit is 9. So it is an odd number. And so its square will also be an odd number. Now here the unit digit is 4 so 8 2 double zero 4 is an even number so its square will also be an even number. So that was your question 3. I hope everyone is clear. Are you all clear? Okay. Now let's see who is going to answer the fourth question. Raj. Okay Raj will Raj have followed the following pattern. And then he is thinking, observe the following pattern and find the missing digits. Let's observe this pattern. 11 square is 121. Now I have inserted one zero here. So 101 square is equal to, so there is one zero inserted. So I will insert two zeros and I will write two in the middle. So 10201. Now, 1001 zero, zero, one square. I have inserted two zeros. So, I will insert two zeros. Then, I will write two. And then, again, two zeros and one in the answer. So, here also. How many zeros are here? Four. So, we will insert four zeros here and four zeros here. Correct, Raj? Yes, that is what Raj is saying. And this also, how many zeros are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's see what is Raj going to give, do and give the answer. So the first one here, 1, 
double zero double zero one the whole square. What do I get? Okay, four zeros inserted, then written two, and again inserted four zeros and one. The next one, how many zeros are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So between one and two, we will insert six zeros. And between 2 and 1, again, we will insert 6 zeros. So, let's see if it is correct. Yes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we write 2 and again 6 zeros. So, we move to the next question. 5. Yagya. Yagya, observe this pattern and supply the fall missing numbers. See the pattern. Double 1 square 1 2 1. Now 1 0 1 square is equal to 1 0 2 0 1. Inserted 1 0. So between 1 and 2 I am inserting 1 zeros Again 2 and 1 I am inserting 1 zero. Now the pattern changes. 1 0 1 0 1. That means between these two, one zero is inserted. Between these two, one zero is inserted. And there are how many ones? One, two and three. So three will be in the middle. So one zero two, zero three, zero two, zero one. Between one, two and three, I will insert one one zeros. Then I will go reverse three, two, one and insert one one zeros. Sub ke beech mein ek zero. Because there are three ones, we will go up to three. And then the reverse. Now there are one, two, three, four. So what will be my order, Yagya? So Yagya is answering. One, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four. Why till four? Because there are three, four ones. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then goes in the reverse order. 4030201. Now, here you are given the reverse. This is blank and see here. Observe this. Now, here the maximum number is 5. That means they have gone till 5. And then the reverse order. So, what is Yagya going to write? How many ones? 5. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Let's count the number of 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Absolutely right. So, this is how you are going to do it. I hope you have understood this pattern. If you have not, once again I am explaining. See here, there are how many 1's? 1, 2, 3. So, we will go up to 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 1, 0 in between. 1, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3. Then the reverse order. 3, 0, 2, 0, 1. Similarly, because there are 4 ones, we go up till 4. 1, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, 3, 0, 4. And then the reverse order. 4, 0, 3, 0, 2, 0, 1. See here they have gone till 5. So we will have 5 ones. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, the whole square. Now let's move to the sixth pattern. So using the given pattern, find the missing numbers. Who is going to answer? Mahek. Mahek is going to answer this. Now 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square is equal to 3 square. She's observing. While she's reading, she's taking in the pattern. 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square is equal to 7 square. Addition of all this is equal to the square of 7. 3 square plus 4 square plus 12 square is equal to 13 square. 4 square plus 5 square plus dash is equal to 21 square. And 5 square plus dash is e plus 30 square is equal to 31 square. And 6 square plus 7 square plus dash square is equal to dash square. Now the pattern we see here is, see here. Now what is the relation of the first and the second number with the third number? We know that the product of the first and the second is the number third. The result of the product of first and second 
will give you the third number. So 1 into 2 is equal to 2. And the fourth number will be 1 more than the third number. So here it is 2. So 1 more is 3. Same way here. 2 into 3 is 6 and 1 more is 7. 3 into 4 is 12 and 1 more is 30. So this is how we are going to fill the rest one. So she has come up with a pattern that square of the first term plus second term product of a and b. a square plus b square plus a and b and the fourth digit will be whatever is this a b plus 1 the whole square. So she fills the third this blank 4 square plus 5 square plus what is 4 into 5? Yes, 20 squared and one more will be 21 squared. So, let's see if she comes. Yes. Now, here, what is 35 into 6? So, 5 squared plus 6 squared plus 30 squared is equal to 31 squared. Now, here there is 6 squared plus 7 squared. Product of 6 and 7 will be what? 42. So, 42 squared. 1 more, so 43 squared. Once again, I repeat, product of the first and the second number will give you the third number. So, 6 into 7 is equal to 42. So, 42 squared is equal to 43 squared. So, one, 42 plus 1 is 43. So, she has followed this pattern. Let's see. Yes. 6 square plus 7 square plus 42 square is equal to 43 square. So children, we will stop here and then continue in the next part with exercise 6.1. So till then, stay home, stay safe.